Hey guys, welcome to Jade Coloring. Today is just going to be a little coloring chat where I start on this page in Matchstick Mouse. I think it is the springtime coloring book. Starting to be nicer weather here, so I um, have been thinking about working in this book. And I'm going to try to do something that I haven't ever done before, and that's using um, the Super Tips by Crayola. That's like a water based marker. I think I got a pack of 50 a while ago and have yet to use them but I really think they had some really nice kind of springy pastel colors in there so I'm gonna give these a try and then um, also I thought about doing the sky in these acrylic markers that I um, have but these are the Hobby Lobby store brand the Masters Touch um, Fine Art Studio and again same with the Crayola Super Tips, I haven't really used them much in my coloring books except for, you know, the odd here and there thing. So I'm really wanting to give those a try and I thought it'd be perfect to work on something a little bit smaller at the same time. But I know it's been a minute since I've been on. This is going to be the uh, acrylic marker and this is like just a really light blue and I hope it works good. And I do have something on the back of it. <clears throat> but yeah, it's been a minute since I have um, really sat down and worked on anything. With like recording anything. Um, I've just been so busy lately that I haven't had a chance really to sit down and color on camera. And I have been doing a little bit of coloring, but not enough to do a finished pages video, unfortunately. So I, um, I'm trying to get back into it because I really do kind of miss getting um, at my desk, you know, and coloring for you guys. I thought about going with a more turquoise color, but I decided on a more really bright blue. And I'm just kind of outlining everything. Carefully, because I'd hate to get blue on the little lamb here. This is such a cute uh, page. I love the little mouse. Oh, there I go. Already making a mark. I shouldn't talk with my hands if I'm going to be coloring, I know. But I like the little mouse sitting in the flower. It's really cute. I think I'm going to not go all the way down with the blue color because I kind of want to create a really full looking field of grass. And so I'm going to kind of take a moment, see how that I kind of like working that out, you know, a little bit better. Hmm. Trying to figure out like where the flower stem is on these, some of them. I might wait till I color those in a little bit before I start going in there with the marker. Okay, I had to kind of take a minute and move the alcohol markers I had on my desk away because they were making like a rattling noise and it may not drive y'all crazy but it was driving me crazy but the it's not a super fine end on these markers it's like 2.0 I think but I can kind of make do being like kind of careful and anything that really is super tiny, I could go in with the uh, pencils to kind of touch it up. I was thinking about using Prisma colors, which is what I usually use for everything. But 
but you know that's kind of a thin paper so I, I found that lately I got some kind of Bristol vellum I think and I've been putting those kind of putting that sheet behind my um, pages and I feel like it kind of does help being able to layer a little bit But that could just be me but at least it does definitely help with creating like if I kind of bear down on the pencil a little bit too much that way I don't create like lines on the page behind this one hmm it is kind of hard to tell I wonder these ones are really defined but <clears throat> these ones are a little bit harder to kind of tell where this the green part of the flower is these acrylic marker you know so far I'm liking it I haven't really done much with acrylic markers before I've been seeing <clears throat> some people using them and it does look kind of fun so I thought it'd be fun to try the ones that I had on hand But I don't know any of the other brands really. Maybe some of these are just kind of flying up into the air. I don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> almost dropped that on the on the picture. It would have got on the lamb. Kind of clumsy lately. But yeah, <clears throat> I like this blue color. careful around the little hat but sorry for kind of not posting any videos lately I think I mentioned it's just been really busy and it's finally kind of slowed down a little bit where I feel not so overwhelmed and like I can really dedicate the time I want to to the channel without feeling like I'm just trying to film for the sake of filming but I'm trying to finish up the Million Little Monsters um, color along because I know it's several months in between part one and part two and we'll see there may be a part three I haven't decided yet it depends on how the editing goes I always kind of struggle with how much to show y'all if I'm showing too much because I know it can kind of be tedious to you know 
especially the way I color, which is mainly with pencils. You know, and I'm pretty slow. I kind of just take my time. But I try not to take too much time when I'm filming, but you know, I'll be filming and I'll think that wasn't that long and then I'll look and it's somehow been 40 minutes. And I feel like what I did wasn't very much for that amount of time. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda just go to there with the blue. I went down a little bit lower than I wanted. Outline the, the mouse. It's a very small area right here. Let's see. I may just go in with a similar blue color for that because I'm afraid I'm going to get it on his face if I try to go any further. Alright, let's kind of take a step back. I think I'm going to go up under the flower. bit down further. Okay, I'm going to kind of stop there and see how it goes with adding the green in for the grass. And just kind of fill in these areas. I'm not really sure the if it's better to go kind of in circular motions or kind of up and down a little bit of a learning curve using these because I've never really used them before and not really in such a large area. I've used like acrylic the folk art acrylic paints before for backgrounds. See like little white places showing. But I thought that these might have been dried out. I'm glad to see that it's not really too bad. Once I started going it kind of started flowing pretty good. bit of touching up. Kind of go a little bit more over here. Okay. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I like the start with that acrylic marker that we have and I want to add a little color and I was thinking that a nice light purple and pink for the flowers would be really cute. So I think I might just kind of spread it around, do different ones, different colors. Start with the uh, light purple. <clears throat> I don't know, is there names or anything on these? I've never really paid attention. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. It's a very... I don't know if it is the color. It's like G 
one, B, two, three. I don't know if they're all different though, but um, I've been trying to work on, like, before I get started, um, these little tags here. This is gonna be my um, Karen Dash Pablo tags for color alongs and just in general, you know, I like to show sometimes what color I'm using because I like to know when I watch other people color. But I thought that these would be a little bit better than seeing my homemade ones, which are the um, little cards. I finally got a printer, so I was able to print some cards out or tags, you know, but a little bit easier to read than my handwriting and then a nice big um, section for seeing the color, which I feel like helps kind of, but I don't know. That's just me. But I thought about doing a video where we do maybe like a couple pages of swatching the Karen Dash Pablos, which I love them, but I don't use them very often, but I'm starting to kind of use them a little bit more. They're very buildable and so, but I'm going to get that done and then I'm going to redo my Prismac tags, you know, these ones and do all the other coloring pencils I have just to have it, you know, good to go and I don't have to kind of hesitate to use those for color alongs or any kind of coloring and, you know, just a long way of saying that way you can see what I'm using. But I think I'm going to color this one light purple. It's a lot darker than I thought and that's okay. <laughs> it's hard to tell because it maybe when it dries down though it might be a little bit lighter. I'm not being too perfect with it because I do plan on going over with uh, my Prismas. But I wanted to get a nice layer down and wanted to try something a little different than just uh, alcohol markers. I like alcohol markers for most things, but they can be a little smelly. Kind of strong. do that one purple and then maybe this one just kind of hopping around so I can spread out the two different colors Now I've seen some people, they can get like some kind of palette, you know, and you can use, scribble these on it and then use these kind of like watercolor, which is really neat. And let's start maybe this one purple. But yeah, it's probably been maybe three months since I've been on here and, you know, my uh, finished pages are going to be, I, I'm hoping to have one this uh, for February at the end of the month, but you would think I would have a lot to share with y'all, but I don't know if I do. I think I maybe have like six or seven, maybe by the end of the month a little bit more than that, but it, it's not much. Let's see, kind of start adding the pink, see how they look together. Very vibrant. But they did kind of lighten up once they dried, so. I know I seen he was coming out with another 
matchstick mouse and it was kind of like <clears throat> was it like an adventure book like the mouse going on lots of adventures I remember thinking that I definitely want to get it and also RJ Hampson is coming out with some kind of like around the world in 80 days book but they both looked really exciting I wish I could get um, well, I thought about getting RJ Hampson's book PDF but I don't know if I was looking in the right area I went on his website and I could only find like six packs so I have to look again in the last book the serendipity I think I did get the hardback version to see how that paper was but I haven't colored anything in it yet but very cute book kind of spread out some flowers here pink ones um But yeah, I haven't gotten too many new coloring books since I've been off here. I'm trying to think. I didn't get too many for Christmas. I did get a printer, which is nice, because I um, have been, I like to print off my Eva Ninkunen PDF pages, and she has started up her Patreon again, so this was February's Patreon page, which is adorable. She's got like a little black cat but um, I thought it was really cute and I've been wanting to work on that one but I haven't had any way to print them and it's been making me sad that I haven't been able to work on any of those you don't realize how much you use your printer until you don't have it That's a flower. Kind of looks like a clover. Hmm. Do a little more purple. I really do like uh, how these are laying down. It's surprising how much I forget about other art supplies that I have. But it's easy just to use kind of what I'm used to sometimes, but it is also fun to try new things, of course. And that's why I love doing this channel too, because it really does make me branch out out of my um, comfort zone. I'm definitely hoping to get a lot of videos done for y'all. I think I said I'm working on the color along. Sorry if I'm repeating myself for the million little monsters. I just love that book. I think that's like the most I've colored in like a new book I've gotten ever. Let's see, okay. I'm going to do the rest pink except for this little one here. I'm going to do it purple. And then do that one pink.
such pretty colors. I really like that. like a cough that won't go away at the end of January I got the flu and it's just kind of like a stubborn like congestion Let's see okay is there any more flowers I don't see any I'm gonna make that a clover because I thought that would be cute trying to put the lid on wrong <laughs> so I was thinking for the um, <clears throat> grass down here I would do this kind of darker green color let's kind of double check see yes I like that and then for the flowers I was gonna go with this really light color but I don't know it might look weird oh well I'm gonna do it anyway Um, but this is what I'm going to use for the stems on the flowers. I'm just going to do them all the same color. Make it easy. Maybe these flowers are just kind of flying up in the air. I think that's what I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave them alone. Maybe from like the lamb running around, I guess. But I don't know. It's hard sometimes to figure out what you wanna do with certain elements of a page. I went ahead and switched to something I felt was a little more grass green. I'm just going to try my best to figure out what's going on with this grass. Because some parts are drawn out, but then some parts is more like a knot, I guess. It's a really big blade of grass. Guess I'll just do little flicks there. I 
and hopefully it looks okay. So I'm back here. Honestly don't know what I'm doing, just kind of making it up as I go along and then maybe I can make sense of it with blending or shading with the pencils and stuff over top. I think that's a start. Maybe do a little bit more grass over here. I think I'm just going to color that blue just to make life a little less complicated because, you know, it's a little simpler. <clears throat> Go in with that blue acrylic marker again. Do some shading or coloring. Oh. I'll just say these flowers are just kind of pulling up into the air. might have got a little bit of that onto the flower but that's okay I think hmm yeah I think I'm gonna leave that and kind of do the grass kind of under the lamb's belly here hmm Go a little bit back in with the acrylic marker. Okay, I think that's good. This is what I used for the leaf here. So go over that. Make it look a little bit more shapely, I don't know, because it's only like partially drawn in. Okay, so I have this kind of light pink, at least I hope. Let's test it out. Yeah, I like that. For the lamb, I'm going to do it to ears, kind of pink, because that's what I picture when I think of a baby lamb. 
And I might go in with the wide acrylic marker for some detail work for the like the white hairs and stuff. <clears throat> kind of feels like it's kind of dried out a little bit. I did just kind of throw these into a bag for a while. There might have been something in there that I've had for a long time, like 10 years. Okay, a little bit down closer in there. But then I think I'm gonna do the nose the same pink color. That's a cute little nose. And then that. I'm gonna do the mouse also with some pink. Little pink ears. Is that a foot? I think it's a foot. Okay, and I got a brown color to do the darker part of the the mouse as far. I think this is the smallest I've ever colored, the little mouse. It's kind of adorable. Hmm. Might have made a little bit of a mistake. But it's okay to color him a little differently sometimes. I feel like generally I usually keep, you know, it has that definition of a line, you know. But, ooh, that's a cute one. I didn't do that. No, I have a finished one. Yeah, I usually do kind of two-toned fur but it's okay to keep it different you know it's kind of hard to see when he's so far away maybe i'll just do the belly and chest area a different color Just kind of scribbling it down because it is going to be a fur like texture. So, the hat I wanted to go in with this kind of apricot color. I thought that would be cute. Hopefully, it's not too similar to the ears, but I can always do a little bit of something different with um, the pen colored pencils. It does look a lot like the ears. <laughs> But not too much. I use. Forgot to do the ears. There we go. Yeah. Oh well. Kind of bled through when I tried to do down over there, but I'll fix it with the, the color pencils. Okay, so I wanted to use two different, one for the purple and one for the um, pink. I think I'm going to use the real yellow and the orangey yellow color for the, the darker orange yellow color for the purple and then the light, whoa, that is like highlighter yellow. That's okay. We can tone it down maybe. I hope. <laughs> That is the yellowest thing I've ever seen. The 
definitely adds a pop of color, that's for sure. Okay, that's all the pink ones. Go in with the orange yellow one for the purple. Okay, I think that's all of those that are showing. But I think this is turning out to be really cute. Got something on that. It's very bright, definitely. Very springtime. And the paper seems to be holding up pretty good with the markers and the acrylic marker. I'm going to try to create kind of like a hazy like along this um, background with the grass and then you know try to make more grass because it's pretty long looking grass so grass is not my favorite thing to color I am very you know not comfortable with it or good at it by any means but I'm trying and this is a year where I try to be proficient in some of the things that scare me like fur grass um clouds pretty much anything that's not doing like a person <laughs> but i'm trying to get better i wonder if i have it in here oh i don't think i do i was going to show what i was working on it was the january patreon page for eva and kunan and i was it's a little deer so i was working on fur with that and i think it's turning out pretty cute i'm pretty happy with it but yeah, I'm really excited to um, that we started on this page. I really like just kind of basing it with the Crayola Super Tips. I think that that works really well in this book. I think I've only ever done... Um, this one is just Prisma only. And then maybe a little bit actually acrylic for like little dots on the grass. And... Um, this one was alcohol marker base, but I'm really enjoying using something different. I think that's the only one I have. There's so many pictures in these. All very adorable. I think this might be one of my favorite ones, the springtime one. And I'm so excited to finally be starting on this page because I had my eye on it for a while. It'd also be fun to try to use distressed inks. I don't know. Let's experiment with some different mediums in this. But I kind of got off with really a long extended um, talk about random stuff I know just now. But I'm really excited about starting this year off with some fun videos, I hope. I'm going to do swatching with the Pablo, the Karen Dash Pablos. I have the 120 set. Um, I have been debating whether or not to get some more pencils this year. It's probably been a few years since I've gotten pencils for myself, but I don't know. I just feel like I really should try to um, use what I have. And I think that these are going to work out pretty good with while, I, while I'm filming, I hope. They're a little bit smaller, but also easier to read the name and then see the color. So that was my thinking behind that. But i um, been thinking about getting a different color pencil set. I, I really do want to try and um, get a more budget set. I have the Brute Finner squared. I assume you can still get those. So I'm going to try to use those a little bit more because I actually do really love those and think they are pretty fun to work with. There's some colors that are similar, you know, but it has a good variety, I think. And then like, you know, the Caran Dash I really like, but they have a huge amount of green colors in this 120 set. I was never really thought about it before too much until I got I sat down and started making these um, printouts but they have a lot of green 
and I don't know there's all kinds of different ones there's like I think the Calore ones maybe and all kinds of ones that I'm not thinking of and that are more budget friendly of course there's the Crayola but I don't know I have a little haven't really played with Crayolas in a long time and I don't think I have any but anyway um, I think that's all I'm gonna do on this page for today thank y'all for watching and until next video bye y'all